So Jim, we've been talking and we've had a, a bit of a video with uh, we talked with Nick about uh, foreigners in Japan, right? Right. Yeah, foreigners. Wait, foreigners talking to foreigners. Right. Uh, foreigners talking to foreigners. And foreigners talking to Japanese. Right. And there was a comment on there by Queen Drama Queen One Zero Eight something like that. Um, right. Sorry if I didn't get the name correct. Um, that said it's a shame that you know foreigners can't speak to each other. That whole video has been taken out of context. Okay. Um, they did. The people watching that video didn't see the whole conversation. Um, the point when I said it's easier to talk to Japanese, what they didn't get after that was, for example, if I was to get into an elevator with a Japanese person, if I walk in, say hi, how are you doing? They'll smile real big and say hi back to me. They'll be happy that they talk to me. Right. But if a Japanese person was to get into an elevator with another Japanese person, total stranger, and say hi, the person in the elevator might think that they're nuts. Why is this person Absolutely. talking to me? Right? Absolutely. So that's what I meant. It's easier for us to talk to the Japanese than it is for the Japanese to talk to the Japanese. That's right. Because in Japan, there is a cult, there is a cultural prohibition against uh, against basically stepping oh, stepping into someone's personal space that right. you don't know. Right. 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 And and it's a very and it's a very I, right, would you say, well, here, watch this. Okay. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna get those guys. I was gonna say Happy New Year to them. But. Ah, okay. We missed our, missed our chance. But, but but it's like when we when okay, we, came we first in came here. in. Yeah, exactly. Right. Talk you want to okay. tell them what happened when I came in? Okay. Yeah. When we first came in, let's see if we can prop this up here. Now that those guys are, are gone, and we won't get they make them uncomfortable. I'll prop this up here. Well, we didn't have enough uh, volume. Oh, you know what? Here, put it on the water. There we go. Okay. When we first came in here, I'll fiddle with this when we talk. Yeah, hold it. When we first came in here. When we first came in here, um, we basically had a bit of a dilemma. They were, or they had a dilemma, not us. They had, um, they didn't have enough booths, any booths for us. And Jim right. needed a seat. And uh, Jim, there was a, a mother and daughter, and a grown daughter, and her granddaughter that came in just after us. And Jim, Jim did something that would be very awkward to do in Japanese, which I could see a Japanese person giving up a seat to another person, but there'd be very little communication right. going on. Right. You wound up having a nice dialogue with the grandmother, talking about all the things, telling her how big you were, and you couldn't fit in the chairs. You actually went, and when they finally got a table, right. you offered the table up to them, and you went over and demonstrated how you right, would right, right. a whole lot of interaction mm -hmm. going on right there, yeah. plus interaction with the, wait the hostess at this point, right. you know, interacting with her, talking about right. things about how you wanted to get the coke in the sermon. We'll talk right. more about that later. Right. Far more than a normal right. Japanese would. Had that been a Jap... Like, well, like he said, the, the grandmother, we... Kurt and I were sitting down. We stood up and let them sit down. And they refused it. And we and so I just kept going, come on, come on, sit down, sit down, go ahead, sit down. And they finally sat down. And then uh, when they were offered a table, they've got some booths over on the other side. I'm too fat. I don't fit in them. See over there, over there, yeah. yeah. I don't fit. I need, I need the table over here so I can scoot it down and get my girth. So, um, <laughs> Look at how far you better than you. Right. <laughs> right. Like, Kurt, Kurt calls me the butterball. So. <laughs> just, just today, just an accident. I don't right. mean it. So anyway, um, when they, when the, the booth opened up, the, the, the lady came over, the lady that works here came over and offered us the booth, and I told the, the grandmother and her family, go on over and take it, because I'm too big, I won't sit there, and they still refused to, to take it. Yeah, had a demo. Right, so I walked over, I said, come here, so I walked, I and, walked and, her over there. And, and now I, the whole restaurant's watching. Yeah, the entire, you know, restaurant's, you know, got 8,000 brown eyes staring at us, so... <laughs> I, you know, wedge myself in that little tiny space, <laughs> and I said, see, I don't fit. So I stood up, and she's laughing. I said, go ahead and sit down. So then they thanked us for giving them the table. And let's see, this is an illustration. That it's, not, it's not that Japanese won't, won't do these courtesies. Japanese are very courteous people, but if that type of event had happened, it would have all been with a minimum amount of chit-chat. Right. A few, a, a, a whole bunch of polite, gomendasize, right, 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 all that kind of stuff. And right. you do it with a very jo easygoing nature. Laughing and joking. Yeah. And had a Japanese person done the exact same thing that I did. Him. Very strange. With, with, with the acting up, they would have thought he was insane. Exactly. They would have. They would have right. been. You would. They would have been very nervous. Right. But now. This family will have something to talk about all day. That's right. And I think maybe that's part of the reason why foreigners can interact with Japanese more is, well, one thing is our reputation, especially North Americans. We right. have a reputation as being very easygoing, right. on a first-name basis, very casual and friendly. So in a way, in some ways, I think it's an opportunity for them 
to, in some cases, a pleasant opportunity yep. to let down their guard a little bit yep. and, and interact a little bit yep. and have a little fun. Right. And another thing, uh, kind of step a little bit off the topic here, um, because somebody had asked before about um, are white people higher in class Really? In Japan. Um, I wouldn't say white as, people. As related to other races? From, from Japanese. Oh, yeah, okay. From Japanese eyes. Um, I, I wouldn't say the color really has anything to do, do with it, but uh, Japanese people do have, they still have the American dream. Uh, and um, as an American, you'll find, you'll get a little more leeway with things than even, say, a Canadian. Mm. Actually, yeah. you know, and there's no difference between us, really. So many times, except the border. So many times, especially in the past, years ago, I would have people instead of saying gaijing, they would say America Jin, America Jin, right, right, and they right, had right, no right, idea what right, I was. Right. I was in a bar one night with my Canadian friend, mm. and uh, we're sitting at the bar, and these two Japanese businessmen come over and they sit down with us, and they they said, "Are you American?" I said, "I'm American," and um, my friend says, "I'm Canadian." And the guy that was sitting on his side actually got up and came over and sat on my side. Really? Really? And I'm like, what? You know, it's interesting. In, in, in an era when, you know, we're both Americans. In an era when basically we are becoming global pariah. Mm -hmm. you know, Americans are probably, we're probably at our low point in popularity per right. currently. There are, there are areas in the world where you and I would be in peril for our lives yeah, yeah. were we to visit. Walk around with a target on our back. Exactly. And people basically, oh, here, comes here comes our food. food. Here comes our food. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Going. Yes, that's the number of man. I go for the four, the four spicy, he's going for the three. Hi, what's your name? Okay, happy birthday. Yeah, together. What you guys want? Hi, can I have a glass of ice, please? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Okay, this comes up in the next video. Okay. We've got to finish this one. Okay. Now, I want to add a point to this, okay? You know, we just mentioned, you know, it's not that Americans are special or... You know, well, we are, well, they are special in some ways in the eyes of the Japanese because of the past relationships. Ah, so So, because of the past relationships, post-war, we were basically here, and it's... And it's good. Now try to get that kind of service in America. Precisely. So now we got to be careful here because that's we, a whole other topic. We, we, too. we really have to be careful what we're talking about here because I know because people never quite the message that we send out in these videos never quite comes out the same way in the ears. They so do. Yeah, yeah, and and. The point that we're making as Americans is not that we are special here, nope. but, but we do have a unique relationship in terms of the post-occupation period and the reconstruction of Japan and the, and, a, and the close relationship. I think, I think, I think, in the mind of most Japanese, we are still very good friends. Yeah. I mean, even despite the war, right. we are we are we are one of the best friends of the country. Right. In many ways. Now, but that said, now I wanted to add something. You mentioned earlier about the. Um, how do they think about other foreigners and then they admire them? There's also a reverse thing. There's a, a, there's kind of a hidden superiority complex in the Japanese. Don't you think that deep inside most of them have a, a bit of a... They, they never talk about it. Over, over other Asians? Over, or other and Asians over themselves, too. And over the rest of the world in some ways. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a carryover. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't doubt for one second they think they're better than us. Mm. No, I don't doubt that for one mm -hmm. second. Of course they do. Yeah. Yeah. And it, I guess it's national pride in many ways, but, it, right. but the one thing is you'll never hear them say it. No, right? they'll never say it. They'll never say it. But you see, you see it. So oh, yeah, 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 you see it. Yeah, yeah. So with, on that note, have we, have we addressed the topic we wanted to talk about, talk about here, which was the... Yeah, it was the original Say Hi video. <laughs> <laughs> and where did we wander we're, we're off? We're totally off on We're totally off on something. Now we got our coast. Okay, let's, say, let's finish this one and we'll talk about the coast. Okay. Can you push the button? Push the button.